Good afternoon, all of our Wallen and Claridge Facebook friends. This afternoon, we get to talk about my favorite topic. No, not eating, not law, not sex, but gambling. I love gambling. The only thing I like better than gambling is to save our clients from going to jail. With the Super Bowl coming up and March Madness around the corner, the first question we get every year is, can I get arrested for betting on the Super Bowl? betting pools, poker games, all those things. In California, the answer is probably not. In California, you and your buddies can get together at Super Bowl Sunday, have a poker game. So long as no one's taking a rake, the guest, the owner of the home is not asking for $50 per person to bet. So long as the friendly poker game and you're not talking about tens of thousands of dollars, you're pretty safe, even though technically it's an infraction in 35 years of practicing law, we've never had to defend someone for having a small poker game in their home. But what about the betting pools where you put 10 bucks in for a box and maybe you can win $1,000? Is that technically legal? No. Will you likely be arrested for it? No, because it's under $2,500. If you're in a betting pool where each of the boxes are $100, you are likely to have some problems. So don't blow a lot of money on those betting pools. It's a lot of fun at five or 10 bucks a box. The big thing people ask is what about fantasy football leagues? There are hundreds of thousands across this nation of fantasy football leagues. Fantasy football league companies make millions of dollars every year. In fact, some of my friends are involved in fantasy football leagues for 25 years now, and they travel all over the country and spend thousands of dollars on their draft when the most they can win during the whole season might be 800 bucks so it's become a social thing more than anything else and luckily for all those guys it's legal why is it legal because the california supreme court decided that fantasy football is not gambling it's not a game of luck it's a game of skill and for those of you who have lost year after year in fantasy football it means you are skillless but it does mean you won't get arrested for being involved in fantasy football leagues. California has a tremendous amount of different ways you can legally gamble in California. One thing I want to tell everyone about, if they like horse racing, is the thing that blows people's mind. Of course, you can legally go to six or seven racetracks in California. You get in the car, you have to buy a racing form, you have to pay for parking, it's hot as hell, you have to stand in line. But you don't have to do that anymore. In California, you can put on a pair of Bermuda shorts, a pair of, a cutoff t-shirt, sit on your couch, and you can gamble to your heart's desire on 20 different tracks from your living room. That's right, because in California, online racetrack gambling is totally legal. I've done it, I guarantee you my bank account has suffered, but you can have a great time because you can scream crazy, cheer for the horses, maybe your neighbor gets pissed off, but you saved a fortune in all the other things. So that is a good thing to know. But what about the other kind of gambling? Like you want to bet on sports events. You want to bet on basketball, the over under, who's going to win, minus six. You want to bet online. That's bad. That's illegal. It's a federal crime. But guess what? The better almost never gets in trouble. Who gets in trouble? The company, the offshore company who's breaking the law. What's the worst thing that's likely to happen to you? The $612 that you have left out of the 5,000 you put in there, if they close down, you're not gonna get it back. So there's betting places in California. If you like Texas Hold'em, there must be 50 or 60 different places you can go to. There's Indian casinos and there's California casinos. You can bet on just about any game you want that's in Vegas. The only difference, go to the California casinos because they're smoke free. It's bad enough losing money at Indian casino and then get lung cancer. So those are all the different places you can gamble in California. There's even more. There's the bingo at the church on Friday or Saturday night, non-smoking, a lot of old people, still fun. You can make a lot of money and spend like $20. So there's tons of places in California. You don't have to drive to the desert to Vegas anymore. You don't have to pay those outrageous fees for rooms. California is now a gambling haven. Enjoy yourself on Super Bowl Sunday. Make sure you don't drink and drive. That's horrible. Use Uber. If God forbid you make a stupid mistake, we're here to help. Have a great time. Bye.